How's it going guys, so today in the Phantom Cave YouTube channel, we're going to be having a look at the featured, another featured artist sort of video, and today we're featuring the artist called Tessa, who was basically, she was a cover artist for few back in the 90s and the early 2000s, and I can't believe how simplistic her drawings are, how wonderful the colors go together and so let's get into it and let's start off with the assignment in Rhaegar so we in we basically we reviewed assignment in Rhaegar very recent so it's quite a good story I quite like it the actual probably sequel to this story is I'm oh well I have read it but um I haven't had time to actually so like review it as of much but I will get to it and we will be moving on and if you have not right noticed on the Facebook groups there's this a phantom petition going on right now and Unlucky, it's only got 4,000, nearly 4,000 petition signings, and if you would like to, like, sign the petition, I'll be putting the link down below to where you can go sign it. We desperately, the Phantom community, the Phantom fans need a Phantom movie, so we need to sign it. And if you can do so, I'll be putting, I'll be trying to drive this. I'm going to be trying to, I'll be probably sharing link on most videos. I'll be trying to do something for it. Um, because the 1996 Phantom movie, it, it was, it was good, but it could have been better in some retrospectives, but uh, yet again, we need to sign the petition, get a Phantom movie going. Billy Zane has, obviously, he's keen for a new Phantom movie. And it's where we, most of the time when we watch the Phantom movie, we get a little bit of nostalgia with it. We get a little bit of retrospective with it. Um, but... I am actually, I'm actually going to ask King Features. I'm going to try and get King Features a interview with, I think, one of the people there and actually ask them if there is ever going to be another Phantom movie because we had, it had potential. It had potential to become a very good movie. Um, but what I've heard about it is that it probably didn't get up to expectations of Phantom fans across the world. People didn't understand the knowledge of the ghost who walks and the knowledge of the man who cannot die. So it's a good thing. I think we do need a Phantom, another Phantom movie. It, the first one, as I said, has a lot of nostalgia with it. And I think we do need a new Phantom movie. But until then... We're going to be continuing on the featured artist um, called Tessa, and I've got I've got a I think I think I've got a quite a lot of her cover art. She only I think I think she only did cover arts for the few comics back in the nineties and to early two thousands, but she actually left a very good resemblance and a very good covers to people if they haven't read the phantom they could possibly get into it so another cover done by tessa i i love her artworks she is amazing i've actually never met her but that is probably why because i'm not too sure what happened with she not doing cover arts but we'll just leave it there 
and then and plus these comics these numbers of her cover art are mostly in order they're mostly in order i have got ones from number one 11 14 to i think somewhere around the 12s um another one public enemy number one obviously most of these are jim shepherd publications and a lot of them are pretty damn good i have not read most of them but i'm willing to read them i'm willing to give them a chance plus we need material for reviews so yeah um this one being a very recent buy this was last year i think so yeah it's a good buy uh, it has four stories in it raiders of eastern dark crooks haven the hijackers and the jungle home el chronicles at last and it's a cover art by tessa next one is fire in the blood and also what i had been talking about earlier inside the latest on the phantom news the phantom movie actually and exclusive photographs dun 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 yeah so we do need a new phantom movie uh, we have been probably waiting 24 24 25 years for this a new phantom movie to actually come out so as fans we need to get around this pe petition as always and yeah i'm i'm gonna try and drive this i i have seen where probably the potential is but it's not that i don't think no one actually has ever shared it to like bigger groups not just within the phantom groups itself but with marvel or dc or other sort of groups that love the comics and love all things comics as well so later today i reckon i might be sharing the petition i've messaged um thomas azure rudd or something like that um and he's probably going to give me the link to the petition so the next one on this comic um nostalgia sort of journey is the 1997 annual special and it's an amazing cover art by tessa um I'll, one of the actual fans in i think that watches these videos he absolutely loves he actually was brought around that he actually collected the 1997 annual and the 1997 annual had stories like the devil road lady luck the toad man um the brothel and the swamp rat so it's quite good as we all know the 2021 annual will be coming out in a few weeks and it is a all out sly barry classic it's a all out sly barry um special and it should be quite good i reckon i i very much i look forward to the christmas specials at the end of the year and the annuals at the start of every in each and every year so and plus a lot of people were saying that because there's the cover art by antonio lemos he's outdone himself in this year he's i love his cover art but um a lot of it people were saying oh they could have done a special thing to get seymour barry his cover art on the front cover and all that sort of stuff well it would have been nice but at least we've got some stories to think back to the good old days we've got some stories to read and at least we have basically at least the phantom is still going on that is the most important part at least the phantom is still going strong after probably 70 to 80 years and because the this year the phantom celebrates its 85th anniversary of when the comic was created so at least the phantom has stuck in the high gear and actually has done what 
not many other comics has done. Like, you take, for instance, Calvin Hobbes, one of my absolute favourites. Um, only lasted for, I think, 10 or 11 years or something like that in the newspapers. You take uh, probably uh, some other characters. They, The Phantom has basically grown past a lot of the contenders and is actually one of the latest, one of the outgrown material that actually has put everything on like he at the phantom is quite renowned it's why the phantom has stuck around for 80 years that's why the fans need a new phantom movie we need a new phantom movie to celebrate even the 100th anniversary in 15 years we need a new phantom movie and let's continue so we now have the first complete printing of the drama of Ten Penny, and this again is by cover art by Tessa. Um, I I think I've read this I've read this comic, um, this story, but I don't think I've read the complete edition of it. So the next one is the Gold Hand. This actually came in two parts back in the two thousands or the late nineties. And I only have one part. I only have the first part. So, yeah. Um, and good cover art by Tessa. And then the last cover art I have by Tessa is the 2001 Annual Special. Now, it had stories like the Shipwreckers, the Planet God, Planet God of Masua, Uru Guru and the Witchmen, the Goggle Eye Pirates, the River Pirates, the Iron Dragon, the Bad Ones, Killer, and Fluffy. Um, and it also came with issue 10 of the Replica Series edition. Um, so if you would like to support the Phantom Petition, I will be trying to get the link of Thomas. And I'll be putting it down on the description down below. We'll try to subscribe. Please support the petition in all ways you can. As always, subscribe to the Phantom Cave YouTube channel and we'll see you next time on the Phantom Cave YouTube channel. See you and keep on Phantom Caving.